Joe Lewis was a student of the game. He should be studied for his subtle use of sophisticated tactics. Joe would split their feet and triangulate the opponent's center mass and throw the cross at a right angle. The idea was to change the angle along the line of engagement to more accurately pinpoint the opponent's chin with either hand. Let's look at what happens after he throws the right hand. After he throws the right hand, Lewis steps to his right and crowds the opponent's puts his right shoulder against them and throws the right uppercut. Okay, what we talked about before, when he would step in and get his foot between their feet and then cross them. The next thing he would do is come back to his right left hook and he would get up against them the shoulder, maybe the uppercut and the hook from there. The left hook naturally follows the right uppercut because his stance allows him to keep his balance. Lewis had such tremendous power in both hands that he hit like a much bigger man, even though he didn't weigh much more than 200 pounds. He was punching above his weight every night. To see the best example of these tactics, watch Lewis fight Buddy Bear. There are three kind of boxers, runners, comers, and grabbers. You need tactics for each. But now you've got to learn to flow between them. 